Hey folks, it's Brad LaDrew here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. And today we're looking at a 2019 GMC Acadia Top Dog Denali. Gorgeous vehicle. You can see the gorgeous Denali grill. Moving in, you got the Denali specific wheels. Moving on down, you can see the Denali badging. And right here, you can see the painted to match doors that are chrome with that chrome insert, or sorry, with that insert that's painted to match. Proximity sensors again on all doors, touch once unlocks just that door, touch twice unlocks all five doors. Moving along, you can see here in the front, the C-shaped LEDs with the HIDs. You can see GMC right in there, looks really sharp. Moving to the front, nice little overview. So this vehicle was re redesigned a couple years ago, fantastic vehicle, we've got great reviews on it. Um, it's not as big as the old Acadia. Uh, they shrunk it up a little bit to make it more of a Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee competitor. And uh, we find that that's a, a big case here in our uh, in Canada. You can see you've got your front sonar assist sensors, both front and rear. So when we talk about your modern keyless entry systems with your push button start, uh, we're in Canada, remote start, you just touch this button once, hold this one for five seconds, remote start your vehicle. You obviously, you've got your power hatch, your power lift gate here. Or if you didn't have your remote, maybe it's in your pocket and you just want to touch, touch down here, you've got your power. You can see this cover down here is for your optional trailering package. And you can see you've got your dual exhaust system, those sonar sensors I mentioned before. And you can see these are all configured in a Denali as 222. So they're a six passenger vehicle. And you can see there's quite a bit of room even in that third row seating. Uh, moving on in here, you've got a little power adapter for say a cooler a little bit of cubby hole for storage. And again, let's say uh, you went and picked up some skis or something, right? You got a little handle right here, pull on this handle, and now your seats are folded flat. And there is a pile of room in this vehicle. Despite this vehicle being less wide and less long, so shorter and skinnier than the old Acadia, this vehicle actually has, is within 20 liters of the same interior volume. So pretty amazing stuff. You can see over here, you've got a USB for that second or third row person to use as well. Some cup, cup holders, some cubby holes. You can see a controlled car, car seat anchor here as well. Again, this vehicle's not as, again, the as, as big as the old one. The, um, if you, if you, oh, actually, this is nice too. But if you think about it, most people in North America have 1.4 people in a vehicle at any given time. So when you're gonna go golfing, you th throw down that third row seating, you have you and three of your best mates. You're going to go driving. You're going to go to the driving range. And you've got a pile of room with that third row folded down. Let's pop inside here. I've got that front driver's seat nearly all the way back. And you can see there is a lot of knee and leg room in this vehicle. You've got a large cubby hole in here for storage. Some more connectivity, USB, power. You've got your second row heated seats and your automatic climate control back here as well. You can get an optional DVD headrest and some people absolutely love that. But again, uh, it's 2018, 2019 model year vehicles. A lot of people will buy an iPad instead for 400 bucks instead of opting for say a $1,500 dual DVD head system, headrest system. Um, you can get an optional huge moonroof in this one and the customer who actually, this is a sold vehicle who owns this vehicle, they're picking it up on Friday is uh, they didn't want a sunroof. If you don't get a sunroof, you actually add about two inches of headroom. So moving inside here, you've got some really nice stitching, some nice two-tone. This is a Denali specific interior. So again, it's frost white on the outside and this is what's called Coco Shale Denali inside. Okay, nice soft touch materials you can see here. Really nice. You got the wood here, your automatic, uh, automatic door options, your power window. You've got your power mirrors. Lock on lock, your power memory seats. You've got your rear hatch. So again, you can have that set to max. Maybe you have a low garage, you wanna set it to three quarters, and that way it doesn't bump or scuff the top of your, uh, your garage door or scuff your paint. Or if you don't want that power option on anymore at all, you just set it off. And again, you've got a Bose premium audio system in this. You've got a 10-way power driver passenger and driver's seat, drivers and passenger seats. Moving on down on the steering column here, You've got your power tilt and telescopic steering column because it's a Denali, it's a top end model. You can see here, you got your heated steering wheel, which we love here in Canada. You got your forward collision alert. 
You can set your gap and also your automatic cruise or also known as your adaptive cruise control. Moving on over here, you can see in your rear view in the side mirror, if you've got this little symbol here, that's letting you know that you've got side blinds alert, rear cross traffic alert. This vehicle's got front automatic braking with pedestrian braking. Again, your front and rear park assist sensors, your sonar sensors. And again, let's go to the center console area here. Let's pop this open. Lots of room inside. For the first, first time ever in any of our previous uh, um, Acadias were just all wheel drive. And when it spun or slip, it could transfer up to, um, I think it was 90% of the power to the back two wheels, despite it being a front wheel drive vehicle. So now we have a twin clutch all wheel drive system in these. So again, if you're in just normal driving conditions on asphalt, leave it in too high. Put it in your four x four and you've got your uh, twin clutch all wheel drive, which will transfer power in between the two rear wheels. So if one of your rear wheels is spinning, it'll transfer all the power to the other wheel. So you're not losing any of your, uh, your, your power. You can go into performance mode, hill mode or winter mode. And then you've also got, because it's got the trailer package, you've got your trailer tow mode. You can enable or disable those park assist sensors with that button. And again, this is your lane departure warning and your lane keep assist will actually steer this steering wheel back and keep you in the lane. It uses this front camera up here that's in the rear view, um, in behind the rear view mirror, I'm sorry, um, in that cowling. And um, it measures the reflective paint on the highway. So again, um, as long as there's paint on the shoulder and on the center line, and it's not worn out, it will measure that and, and record that and then help steer you back into your lane. And it'll give you an audible and a visual warning if you're starting to uh, use that system. Uh, you can see down here, you've got heated and cooled seats in a Denali trim like this one, which is really, really nice. You're even your uh, shifter. You can go into L mode down here. And then you can go plus minus and it shifts real slick if you want to be doing a manual transmission, even though it is an automatic. Uh, you've got your dual zone automatic climate control and moving up top. Everybody loves the infotainment system that GM offers. You've got 4G LTE Wi-Fi in our vehicles. You've got your Wi-Fi hotspot, your outside temperature sensor, your compass, all that things, all those things. Touch audio for audio. Go to XM radio, hit home, go to navigation, home, go to rear climate control. You can see how intuitive, how quick this is and responsive. And also you've got a projection button. So if you have a modern, uh, say an uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on your phone, then which is the modern phones, um, then this will mirror or project your phone onto this screen. So you have that familiarity of the phone that you already have. Your audio books, your podcasts will all download and they will all be accessible uh, through this when, you're via, when it's plugged in. You can see down inside of here, you got some more connectivity, auxiliary, some more USBs. You can see you got your hazard lights there, your traction control, stability control. Yeah, and finally, you can see right up here, you also have your home link garage door opener. So there you go. Moving on over to the center, this is your driver information center. And if we use this jog dial right here, we can see or control what we see here. So again, if you're towing something or your trailer or whatnot, you can uh, look at this, see your pitch in your yaw, so you can know if you're, uh, if you're campsites level or not. This is kind of neat. A lot of people keep it on a digital speedometer, but again, you can go into your different trip computers, fuel range, oil life, tire pressures, your la your bet your average fuel economy, of course. And then you can set, oh, yeah, this is kind of nice. You can also set a speed limit. So uh, you can set a, a um, say if the max speed in your neighborhood is 60 kilometers or in your small town, we're in a smaller town here. And uh, that way, if your teenage uh, daughter or son is driving this vehicle and uh, they exceed that 60K, maybe you set it at 62, it might prevent them from getting a speeding ticket. You also have teen driver technology, which will give a record of, of how they've been driving. And you also have something called rear seat reminder. So if, I, if you open up one of those back doors and you turn off your vehicle and get out, it'll also remind you that you could have had left, unfortunately, a child, or maybe if you have a puppy or something, you left your puppy inside a hot vehicle. That's a, that's a tragedy that happens every year, but that's something that GM has in this vehicle. Um, but that's kind of the highlight of this 2019 frost white tricoat on the outside with the Coco Shale interior Denali. And it's a gorgeous vehicle. I'd love for you guys to come down and take a test drive on this vehicle or go to your local GMC dealer. It's a fantastic vehicle, very quiet, very smooth. 
But again, that new V6 is not the same engine as the old V6. More horsepower, more torque, and it's very responsive. There you go, folks. Have a great day.